Is this in you don't miss here for carnival? Not saying you know it have no carnival again. Nah, how you mean? Illusions have the thing this year, black to blue life. The sun and not doing no virtual thing again. Nah nah nah, it's not no virtual thing. It's not no virtual thing. Hear what? Come down to Naparima Bowl Amphitheater for 2 p.m. and I'll give you a sneak peek. Okay, I'll see you there. Come on, don't worry yourself. Hey, 2 p.m. girl, right on time. Let me show you this. So this is in Naparima Bowl Amphitheater. This is where we build in all the vibes for Illusions Black to Blue 2022. So right there, we had the stage set up with all your favorite artists and DJs performing and up here in the amphitheater is where the crowd will be shelling down the place. Of course, in a safe manner, make sure and bring your vaccination card to be pumping hard. So wait, so what about the drinks? You ain't even have to worry about that here. We have Illusions Black to Blue drinks packages. You're ordering it before the show and you collect it before the event. Alright, so February let's want and I'll see you then, right? I'll take care of our pass for you. Alright, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Alright. Hey, two tits, hey, girls, come here. Ain't even get me. Let me show you if nobody's sleeping. I go drink water and mind my business. Mind my business. Drink water and mind my business. So it's 6 I'm not expecting anybody else, unlike Aaron Fingal in that last clip. <laughs> Uh, because we are joined by our Illusions family. Joining me this morning is one of the directors for Illusions, Mr. Damien Babulal. Good morning. Morning, morning. Good morning, And Canada. welcome and change all your ways with people coming in at half an hour different. But <laughs> we have something to look forward to because Black to Blue is one of the staples on the carnival calendar over a decade of setting in the breakfast times. 14 years, yeah. <laughs> Tell me what's going on for 2022. So 2022, we um, we are allowed to actually have a safe zone event this year, and um, we decided to utilize that. A lot of the other promoters are not, and um, you know we decided to utilize the space that we have in South. You know we are a South-based event company, and the space for us is either was either Sapa or the Naprima Bowl, and we decided to go with the bowl because we did the events there in the past, and because of the outdoor amphitheater. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, for anybody looking on, as you mentioned, 14 years of uh, the Black Illusions, to Black to Blue Fet, is literally from the black of the night to the blue of the day. Correct. We've had different iterations, and in 2021, when we actually had the pandemic lockdown fets, yeah. <laughs> we went virtual. Right. So tell me about the successes and the learnings taken from 2021 into 2022. So, yeah, I mean, we wanted to exist in that space. Um, it was a tough call to make because it was spending a lot of your finances, but thankfully all our sponsors came on board with us from, tw from all the years before, um, you know, big up to them. And because of them, we were able to successfully host uh, the virtual event, back, Black to Blue, the Backyard Jam, which we had over 100K views nice. overall so far, still adding every day. And, the, and you know, this year, because of the pandemic still being here, we, which we hope wasn't going to be the case, yeah. um, we still wanted to do something for the people, for the culture. So the show on Friday is really a mix of uh, all genres, you know, soca, chutney, cultural, we have pan, pan, we have rhythm section, you know, and we have some other surprises as well okay. that we don't want to let out the bag yet. Okay, okay. I like surprises. Yeah. But then tell me, because you mentioned that other, in, uh, other event planners and NASA so didn't want to necessarily exist in that space and even the, the spend it that was yeah. there. Tell me how come Illusions didn't pivot like everybody else? I mean, we did, we did some stuff. We did some charity work through our committee. Um, we call it Illusions Food Not Work, where you know, um, the committee members and some of our caterers who we would normally use for our events, they, they, they cooked. We went live on Instagram and social media, tried to engage with our following. And then um, we cook those same meals and give it to, give it to charity. So nice. that is something we want to continue doing, you know, continue doing our charity. We're giving back to, you know, the underprivileged in Trinidad and by extension the Caribbean. And um, yeah. So we're seeing progress in all the same, whether it be fat or food. We make yeah. sure illusions stay alive. Correct. <laughs> now, we talked about the measure of views, 100,000. Yeah. In terms of this event, though, numbers are going to be significantly smaller. Let's get into the mechanics. We're looking at so how many guests? 
So the capacity for the bowl at the 50% capacity, because it's a safe zone, is 450 guests. Mm -hmm. um, also, that includes sponsors, committee, everything. So tickets-wise, we would have been only been able to so sell about 300 tickets. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How do you get those tickets? So the tickets are available online on islandetickets.com. We had some early birds which were sold out um, so far, and then we have the last batch of 300s available still. Now, last time around with the virtual events, the room would have hosted, and you had some performances. One of my favorites was Bungie, because he gave us some quotables for sure. Okay. What can we look forward to on the cast this year? Right, so we have Rome again hosting. You know, Rome, was, um, Rome still is one of our valued committee members, okay. family members, so you know, we consider him very highly. Um, so yes, Rome will be hosting. We have Colonel Roberts, we have Zan, we have Ding Dong, Ooh. we have Ravi B, we have Ufan Alves, we have Jadel, mm. Ricardo Drew. Um, so and all of the top hitters in Suka right now. Yeah. There's not one to miss. And we still have a few to drop over the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. So look out for that on our social media. Mm -hmm. Now you said surprises. Are they going to be along the lines of performances as well? Or are we looking at a different dynamic? To a yeah, so event? both. We're kind of going on the cultural side with one of the surprises. And also... On, on, on the artist side, yeah, mm. one or two, uh, one or two. Don't cards get in the no clues at all. Like, mm, um, <laughs> nah, just follow us at, at Illusions Mass. You'll see it it's coming soon. It's only three, two days to go. Fair. Yeah. We're looking at a live concert performance packed to capacity with all protocols, of course. In terms of those of us who are still those staying in our bubble or even quarantine, right. how can we link up? Right. So because of the fact that we're only catering for. 300 tickets and the sponsors and stuff we'll have a live pay-per-view option which you could also um link with our social media and see the links there and it, it's it's costing 12.99 us which is about just about 100 tt okay. to just you know basically support back the the pay-per-view costing really it's not really a cost that going towards us this, so this is not a money making event in general you know people always think promoters doing things to make money but this is actually for the people, for the culture, and you know, for people to get just a carnival that they're missing so much, you know. Let's talk for the people, for the culture. Yeah. You said that there was the hope of there being an, a carnival this year. Yeah. It didn't happen, but you were still prepared. Yeah. That speaks to the idea of planning long before this year or even last year for this event. Correct. What is your planning process or timeline like? So when the pandemic hit, we basically went into planning mode. And that's when we started planning the, um, the virtual event. And as soon as that finished, we were into planning as if Carnival would have happened as normal in 2022 this year. Um, but we had another plan B in, in the event that it was going to happen, what would be our next option. And we were hoping that the safe zone events would have happened. And this is what we're doing on Friday. So if anybody is out there looking on and wondering what sort of progress or rather, what sort of parameters are needed for better? As somebody in the background, as an event planner, one suggestion that you could make to the government, to the public at large, that you'd like to see moving forward so that we can have perhaps a carnival 2023, maybe? Yeah, so we are part of the TTPA, the Trans Tobago Promoters Association. And a couple of weeks ago, we had a, a, a press conference talking about opening back the sector up in a safe way allowing events on a small scale, not just in safe zones that they have chosen, but we suggested a couple other safe zones that could be um, looked at and, um, you know, and, and allow a bit more persons safely. And, and that is one of the suggestions we would want, because, I mean, the sector is really struggling as a whole ecosystem of people. And um, we have been down for two years without any end in sight. So it's just we want you know to make an appeal to the government to really just open back the sector safely, such that you know we could have events and continue doing what we love to do. Well, Illusions is going to continue for another 15 years. Person is out there extra. This year being the 14th one, we're looking forward to Black to Blue live, heading to the Napa Rima Bowl on Friday. You can get your tickets online if you still have a few left, yeah. <laughs> and of course make sure that you present your. Back your back card, yeah. So it's a full safe zone, so you need to follow all um, protocols, work with your ID, your vax cards, and they'll do all the necessary checks before mm. you enter the, um, the boat.
perfect. I am going to look to order my Black to Blue drinks package because I'm not toting no cooler inside there. And I will see you guys on Friday at Naparima. But for now, Damien, thank you very much for joining just, us this just morning. Just one more thing mm -hmm. on the drinks packages. The <laughs> coolers and food are not allowed into the venue, which is the reason why we, we, we came up with the option of the drinks packages. So patrons mm -hmm. will be allowed to purchase the drinks packages beforehand. And, and we, as is customary, Black to Blue complimentary food is, is there in the inside already waiting on you. Well, I mean, I'm already dressed technically <laughs> for the occasion in my black and blue. So I will see you guys when the sun is up and we will see you guys after the break. It's an all morning show. Stick around, guys. Mm. I turn up the fit till it's over.